my name is Melissa. I am a mom here in Michigan, and I'm sharing what I put on the table for my family. Uh, today, I decided to get to the Dollar Tree with just $10. I live in the state of Michigan, and we do not put tax on the food items uh, that are not hot and ready to eat. So anything from a grocery store that you're gonna buy uh, does not have tax. So it means at the Dollar Tree, at the new price of $1.25, I'm able to get eight items. And I'm challenging myself to feed my family a four for an entire day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and see how that goes. So if I did this uh, in theory for a week, it would be $70, which is a very, very low cost, low spend amount. Now you wouldn't have extra, you know, here for snacks or anything like that. Um, it's possible you'd have some carryover um, as like, far as I'm buying a jar of peanut butter and I don't use it all this time. So there would be some opportunities there, but this is just a really low budget. Uh, according to the USDA, a thrifty, which is the lowest uh, budget that they give, they had an average family of four in America, would be spending about $225 per week on groceries. So this is, you know, less than half of that, um, you know, to tide you through and um, get you fed in your family fed. So I want you to check out what the store had to offer. I was actually pleasantly surprised at what options we had and see what I came up with. And I will cook them up and show you what we got. I was so excited to see this huge freezer case at this Dollar Tree uh, near my house but a new one that I haven't been to in a while. Lots of single serve options, lots of fun um, snack options. Uh, so I like to see that. That's always a good uh, to know, you know, what's there, what's ready to go, have some of these things um, in your freezer that's a good buy at the Dollar Tree. Uh, lots of options of vegetables. They have mixed vegetables and fruits. Uh, I ended up with the blueberries, but they have strawberry banana. I see a tropical blend. A couple different options of french fries. Different options of vegetables. So, you know, this is definitely the place to look for vegetables because that is a really good deal. $1.25 for some of those size bags um, are just really nice and lots of nutrition going in. Uh, so breakfast, I was thinking maybe waffles. Those looked good. Um, they, of course, have some single serving things. They have different options of different options of sausage. Ooh, even frozen cookies. And I liked these sausage options. Um, that was a good size package. I don't see the exact ounces, but a good amount um, for, you know, enough that we could be a dinner. So that was nice to see. Uh, some margarine of course you know the single serving drinks and things and here they have some cheese and I'm here showing you that the first ingredient is milk so that means that that cheese will melt that's the trick look at those ingredients of course lots of different um, sauce options and you just never know what you're gonna find look at this I had to look it up 349 for those tomatoes at Target so I did stock up on those for just for myself because that was just a great deal and another good deal is actually the pasta because you do get 25 percent more so you are getting a bigger package there than what you might buy uh, for a dollar at walmart or somewhere else um, i thought that was a good idea too those bigger boxes of potatoes um says so six servings or more so these are the items that i ended up getting at dollar tree so in michigan we do not have tax on um, food from the grocery store, non-prepared food, I should say. So I for can get eight items for $10. So this is everything that we are going to eat in a day for $10. Uh, we got tuna, some french fries, some oatmeal and blueberries, some Raymond peanut butter and a mixed vegetable bag. And I'm gonna cook them up and show you what I come up with. So this is feeding a family of four all day for $10 from Dollar Tree. Uh, so this is what I chose for breakfast, um, was some fruit and cream variety, instant oatmeal, and we're gonna to top it with some blueberries. So there's six packets here. Um, I do think that will be enough to feed a family of four. Like my husband, I know, would eat two, um, but me and the girls seem like we would just all eat one. 
Um, it's a decent amount of calories to get you going for the day. Obviously the carbohydrates, a little bit of protein there, three grams of protein, so should fill you up. Oatmeal in general, even though it doesn't have a ton of protein, seems to um, fill me up anyways and make me feel satisfied for a while. Um, I really like that they have some frozen fruits, especially something like blueberries. 70 calories per cup, so we'd only each get a half a cup because it says there's two servings. Um, but I also like the only ingredient is blueberries in here. So let me make up my breakfast. So here it is. I cooked it up. I did the microwave methods, just a minute and a half in the microwave. It smells really good. I chose the peaches and cream flavor. I was actually hopeful that my Dollar Tree would have the unflavored oats, like it's a canister or sometimes a bag of just plain oats because if you had a little sugar of some sort, maple syrup or sugar at home, adding just the blueberries, and then you'd get much more oats. Um, so if you have that, that's an option. But I did want to measure it out just to show everybody how much is, a, uh, and they're still a little frozen, a half a cup, which is a lot. Um, and I just have the oatmeal warm. The blueberries have just been sitting out just a minute on the counter. So they'll warm up and pop and make this beautiful color. Look at that. So fruity oatmeal for breakfast today. Okay, so now for the lunch option, I am going to be making peanut butter ramen. Um, so I am making a soy sauce based sauce. Of course, you can just use the chicken um, seasoning packet and then mix the peanut butter in. Um, but I feel like a lot of these items are things that you'll have in your kitchen. And if you don't, just don't use them. Um, soy sauce is probably something you have, even some packets. Um, so what I started with is I have one cup of water down in here. And then I'm going to use a half a cup of soy sauce. This recipe is from another YouTuber, Mandy in the Making, that I watched um, make it. I, of course, got slight adjustments, but I will link her um, recipe down below. We're going to so use also, um, I'm only going to do one tablespoon of sugar. She uses more sugar, but of course, peanut butter to me has that sweet side to it, and you can always adjust um, as you go. So I'm gonna just do one tablespoon of brown sugar, uh, one tablespoon of rice wine vinegar, um, rice vinegar, or if uh, I would even use a white vinegar, which you might have up in your cupboard. Use it to dye Easter eggs and things. Some red pepper flake, depending on how spicy you like it, of course, is the red pepper flake. I am going to use, I think she uses real garlic. Oh, this is brand new. So um, garlic powder, same thing, you're just going to uh, shake in how much you want. I feel like a teaspoon of garlic powder is going to be the right amount for me. Yeah, I even went shy there on the teaspoon. Again, garlic is up to your taste, up to your liking. And I'm going to cook up, um, I think, you know, obviously this is, you know, for the whole day. You could cook all five up if you want. I feel like I'm going to cook three of them up maybe four we will see but I'm only going to use one packet of the um, chicken seasoning as um, in the recipe it calls for chicken broth so instead I'm just going to go ahead and use this chicken packet seasoning obviously there's a little bit extra flavors and stuff in there I have the water ready to boil I'm going to actually boil the noodles on the stove so the Dollar Tree peanut butter is not the best value. You're only getting 10 ounces here for the $1.25. But again, for the sake of this event is saying like you don't have an option to another uh, store to go to. Aldi is $1.29 and I think you get 24 ounces of peanut butter. Um, I would say I took half of it out, I would say in general. I'm gonna put that in here. I don't know how well it'll mix up. Let's see when it's not warm, you know, over the heat. So I'll see if I can get it going. If not, we'll um, wait till the noodles are done cooking and we've got some um, heat. Okay, so what I've done here is I boiled the noodles. I think I did maybe three minutes. You're not boiling them um, even all the way to being um, done. And I swapped and put my um, soy sauce mixture 
with the chicken broth and peanut butter in the pot over the stove. So you do want this to thicken up. I had forgot to add the cornstarch to it. So I'm going to add some cornstarch. If you have it, go ahead and add it. If you don't, this peanut butter, I believe, is going to go ahead and also um, thicken it a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and do two teaspoons. You wanna add your cornstarch to it cold. So I turned the heat off for a quick second. Didn't think it's gonna get that hot that fast, but cornstarch is best mixed in when it's cold and then as it warms, it will um, thicken. Okay, I'm gonna put it back over medium heat. Let it bubble up a little bit. Okay, so this got really nice and thick. I don't know if you can see that. I did a taste test um, and I decided I added a second packet of the chicken flavoring from the ramen and now it's really, really good. Nice and thick, super, uh, you're gonna love this peanut butter flavor. It might sound weird at first. Please, please try it, you're gonna like it. Even if all you can put in there is the chicken broth, from, you know, the chicken packet, some peanut butter and some soy sauce, I think you're gonna love it. So now that it's um, thickened up and bubbling, I'm gonna add the noodles back in and let them finish off any cooking that they might have to do. There really isn't much, but you know, when you can cook it, any noodle in the flavor, it just soaks that flavoring up so much better. So there it is, all finished, your peanut butter ramen. I think everybody would love this as a lunch option. Again, if you happen to have cilantro, um, I'm definitely going to throw uh, some of this on top to give it some bright freshness to balance out that thick, um, rich peanut butter flavor, but adds tons of protein to your um, lunch and a twist on it that I really think you will like. So I uh, hope you give this one a try and stick around to see what's for dinner. Okay, here I am ready to make dinner. I mean, these are easy enough. I'm just going to throw a few french fries, uh, throw these in the air fryer. Um, I did find this interesting. They're very tiny bits and pieces, um, but you know, it's okay. And the vegetable blend looks really, really good. Nice, good size. I'm gonna throw this into the microwave uh, just with you know a little water to steam it and then here we are we're gonna make our tuna cakes you do need some sort of mayonnaise Hellman's or Miracle Whip something like that is your best thing to bind it um, you don't need to add the seasonings but I think a little bit of onion powder garlic powder salt and pepper will make it taste that much better so those are some standard things, you know, if you have them on hand to go ahead and add them. So with your mayonnaise, you're gonna need some sort of breadcrumb. I could not find any in my house, so I don't have breadcrumbs. So I toasted up some hamburger buns that we were, you know, at the uh, bottom of the bag that you're not gonna use, but you keep around because you're not sure. And then I just chopped them as small as I could. I didn't want to take the time to get my food processor out. So um, I'm just gonna go for it. They're a little bit bigger than obviously breadcrumbs would be, but I don't think that's gonna hurt us at all. With the tuna, I did choose the albacore tuna and I can tell that it had, um, from other tunas that I bought before, I would say that it is less water than what is in the other tunas. So um, I think that's a good thing. I read the can, you know, tuna is so healthy and either you love it or you hate it. <laughs> so you might've skipped this already because you hate tuna, but in one can it has 26 grams of protein. So I am splitting, you know, each can into two patties. So just the tuna alone gives you 13 grams of protein. So that's obviously really really good that's going to keep you full and satisfied um, I do have some olive oil um, so use whatever you use in your pans oil or cooking spray or whatever uh, just to ensure that they don't stick uh, I think I'm gonna make this into four patties but it's actually looking like I probably could make it into six now that I've added all of that so let me take a look if it will stick together So yeah, they'll make six smaller ones, so maybe that's a better plan. Wish I had more breadcrumbs, because I think I overdid it with the mayo. But I think if I cook it in the oil and let it sit long enough, it, it won't 
give me any problems. So let me make these up. So here they are. Um, it definitely does need more breadcrumbs. So uh, before I fry up the next ones, I think I'm gonna add some breadcrumbs, but you can get them nice and get some caramelized color on there. That's really good. Uh, of course, you do, if you do have any extra bread, serve them up as a sandwich. Um, and then these little, these are the French fries, which is surprising. They're a little shorter than I thought, but they're really good. They're little crispy ones and nice big pieces of vegetables in that bag there. So there you go, a creative dinner uh, from your $10 at the Dollar Tree.